Hello, and welcome to another episode of Story Roulette, the game where I tell random stories from random words, and then hope for the best. Now, if you would like to be responsible for next week's episode, please comment down below with five to ten words of your choice, and uh, you can be responsible for next week's episode, provided you have the highest thumbs up comment, which at this point in time would probably be the first comment to comment, commenter to comment, yes. Okay, few rules though, nouns, verbs, names. Those are the kinds of words you're looking for, and uh, keep it PG please. And also, please, no real names. Um, I don't want to get sued. I don't have money to pay people. So, yes. All right. That said and that done, let's get going. Okay. In comes the huddle stories, the shake of stories, the pick of stories, and uh, the hope of stories. Okay. Let's see what we have today. Ah, adventurous one. Cutlass. For those of you that do not know, a cutlass is a uh, kind of sword. Um, kind of looks like a rapier in a way. Um, basically, looks like a pirate sword. I guess would be a good way to 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 um, describe it. Yeah. Okay. So, story about a cutlass. So, of course, we have this will be a period piece. And we'd have to go back to the 1600s, the times of the pirates, of course. Why not? So, in comes our main character. His name was Bob. Because why else? What else? What other name would he, could he possibly have? I mean, Bob is as good name for a pirate as any. Oh, and I should probably mention that Bob was a pirate. So yes, it was Bob the pirate. Now, he wasn't a very um, special pirate. In fact, he was nothing but a deckhand on a white ship called the Floating Monkey. Yes. So, here we have Bob on the deck of the Floating Monkey, um, scrubbing the deck, as it were, when he came across a little piece of paper wedged in between the boards. Now, if you know ships, you don't want there to be, you know, holes in your ship for papers to get stuck into, or at least on your deck, because that means it's a shoddy workmanship that was on your ship. And, well, that's pretty much the characteristic of this, um, the floating monkey. Um, it wasn't a very well-built ship. So here we have, you know, a pirate who's not really special at all, on a ship that's pretty much sinking all the time, called the floating monkey, who found this piece of paper wedged between the floorboards on deck. Okay, so he unravels this piece of paper. Now, there's one special thing about Bob. He um he could actually read, which was of course uncommon for deck hands. Now, as it were, he was actually the illegitimate child of a noble, and um, he was lucky enough to be educated, but unfortunate enough to well become a pirate. So. Here we have him finding this piece of paper with something written on it. And he reads this piece of something, of course. I mean, why else? Why else would we go through this? All of this. And this piece of paper happened to be the bottom corner of a map. And all he could see on this piece of paper was the word cutlass. Um, and then, of course, with a bit of, you know, piece of a map. So, obviously, um, he was intrigued by this, and um, he would now have to set out, all, or at least engage all of his guile and manner, means of persuasion to try and uh, find out more about this, this cutlass thing. But he was smart enough to realize that uh, he should keep this a secret, for after all, his life has been unremarkable until now, well, at least as remarkable as the life of an illegitimate um, child of a noble who has been ousted by society, his life would get. So, he then snuck into the captain's quarters and found a map. And he then matched up the little piece of map he found with the captain's map. 
and it happened to be the corner of the captain's map was missing, obviously. So um, he then fitted on there, and then he found out that the entire sentence was the mystic cutlass. Yes. Um, so clearly he realized that this was the key to changing his fortune in life. Um, and now he had to keep it hidden from the captain somehow that he knew about this cutlass. But of course he was a deckhand and the captain didn't know he could read. So he gave this back to the captain saying, Captain, I found a piece of paper and it looks like it might be part of a map. Is this yours? Naturally, the captain thanked him, took the map, and uh, went about his merry way. Next thing you know, they set off to a mysterious destination. And you guessed it, it was to find the cutlass. But now, this little deckhand knew about it. And he then found the cutlass before the captain did. And as you guessed it, it was a magic cutlass because of the name the mystical cutlass and um, well I guess I should tell you what the power of this cutlass was well this cutlass could sing that's right it was a singing cutlass so for all intents and purposes it was pretty useless to the captain when he found out um, even though Bob found it before the captain did but the captain then exposed Bob or at least Bob was exposed, and then found out it was just able to sing. And um, he then said, Bob, he can keep the stupid sword. Um, and then, which then, fortunately for uh, our dear friend Bob, um, made him his fortune, because then Bob started a um, freak show act um, featuring his singing sword. Well, actually, no not featuring a singing sword per se, but he would always have the sword with him and then Bob would pretend to sing. Um, so it wasn't really a freak show, it was more of a sideshow kind of thing. And um, Bob then made more money and he lived happily ever after. All right, thank you for watching. That's it for this week's episode. I will see you all next week um, where we will do this all again. I hope you all have a good week, and uh, goodbye. Don't, don't click it. Don't click it. <laughs>